tried to get up here fast enough to meet you. You've already started cooking, and you've got it going on up here already. Isn't this a gorgeous day, huh? Look how you know, beautiful it is on, on the golf. We got lucky, but every time you're cooking, we're lucky. <laughs> you want to know how to cook flounder at home nice and easy and fresh and get the best flavors, the best taste out of it, Here's our guy. It's all about taking advantage of the markets and the wonderful seafoods they're bringing in. And most of it right here from the Gulf of Mexico, right at least a lot us. of it. The biggest problem with folks eating fish is cooking it. Well, I, I think they're a little skeptical about it. You know, they're used to throwing a steak on the grill, but then when it comes to fish, oh my God, is my house gonna smell fishy? Fresh right. fish never smells fishy. It always smells fresh. This would scare me. Well, 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 why would this scare you? This well, is so simple. I wouldn't know what to do with it. Well, that's the, why, why you think I'm here, oh, huh? All right. why, well, why do you think I'm here? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to show you. And, you. and you already know how to do this. I'm just using the Cajun Creole version. You would probably use a little Italian, but you why don't we I just would. combine it, huh? Let's do it. All <laughs> right. right. First step. Okay. okay, first, let's take a look at this flounder. Look how gorgeous it is. And this is right out of the Gulf waters behind us here. This thing was swimming yesterday. Didn't know it was going to be our <laughs> guest today. It's bone in. Bone in means that we've just cut the pocket and the fillets have been deboned. On, but the bone is still down on that skeleton. So right. you just take the meat right off and the bone will stay in the platter. Perfect. If you're afraid of it, just have the fishmonger fillet it for you and then roll it in a turban around the stuffing. You'll accomplish the same thing, almost. Almost. I love the almost. bone. <laughs> okay, all okay. right. You ready to make the stuffing? Let's do it. I have a, a skillet here and I'm gonna put a little bit butter in. Remember I said we're eating healthy fish? Of course. Yeah, why not just kick it up a, a little, little bit. bit? Yeah, a little, a little bit. bit. Not, not too much. Okay. Uh, and of course, this is a family size right here. You can throw my onions in, see them right there? Okay. Now, celery will go in celery. next. And you can throw those two colors of bell pepper because, Laura, this is a stuffing, so we want it to look really nice. A little bit garlic. You know I went right uh, for the garlic. More garlic, the better. It's healthy for you, too. It's very good. Let's talk about crab meat for a minute. Take a look at this, y'all. You heard the saying, the nearer the bone, the sweeter the meat? Never. Never heard that? I've never heard that. You always want like a, a steak with that bone on the outside of it, like a T-bone? Yes. Well, the claw meat is near the shell, so of course it's got great flavor. The lump meat is the most expensive and the most beautiful, but yet it doesn't have the flavor of the less expensive This meat. is the one you have to work hard for when you're eating crab. It is. Let's go ahead and throw all it in here. Oh yeah, all of it, absolutely. A little bit wine here, and then a little bit of that cream, about a tablespoon or two. Now, how about a little touch of a seasoning? You start this, okay. and I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. Now, you see the breadcrumbs yes, over there? Yes, I do. Well, let's go with the cheese first. See All that right. cheese? Yes. Go ahead and throw some in here. Okay, now you can put the breadcrumbs, just uh, put them right on in. That's our thickening agent right here. Now, it's all done. You could just eat that, actually. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, yes. Put this in a casserole. You want to grab the flour yes. and you can put it right here. You see my stuffing? Yes. Okay, you go ahead. I'm going to open this up. I have to season inside first. You have to season everything. So I'm going to put a little bit salt and a little bit pepper as well. And you can spoon about half of that in. Just keep throwing it in until I, until I yell stop. A little bit more right on top to mound it up because we want people to think we're generous here, right? It, absolutely. Okay. A little herbs. How about that? A little basil. Time, tarragon, you notice all the great herbs in the stores today? Yes. Oh. They're showing us how to do it at home. We're bringing it home. Oh, a little lemon juice bringing it home right I now. I love it, and it's uh -huh. making all uh, that yeah. smell. Give right. us one tip for the home cook when we cook fish at home. Oh, that's easy. You see the dorsal fins as well as this fin and the tail and the head will stick to a roasting pan. And when you try to take it out to present it at the table, yes. it'll break off. So if you, if you put a piece of parchment on, it'll come right off and you can slide it onto your platter as we did here. In Spain and Italy, they actually use yesterday's newspaper. I wouldn't recommend that here, but, but they, they do they've it been there. doing it for a long time. A little lemon on top like this, a little cayenne, mm -hmm. you know, just to fire it up a little I bit. I like that. This is gonna go into a 350 degree oven. You wanna get the internal temperature to about 165 degrees. A lot of things that we don't know at home, you do, you're a chef. Internal temperature, how am I measuring that and where? I would use a digital thermometer, I would stick that thermometer down into the center of that stuffing because the flesh of that fish will cook much faster than that stuffing will heat up. The basic premise here is it's not so much the fish as it is the stuffing. That's right. It has to be at a certain temperature. And that's what one of the big mistakes people make when stuffing fish is that they take it out of the oven and they panic and the stuffing is ice cold on the inside. You've given us two recipes in one. Oh, that's right. Because this can absolutely. stand alone. Oh, absolutely. It'll stand alone. Put this I inside. Make patties out of it. You can make a, like a, a burger. Cake. Make a crab cake out of this. The one recipe, two recipes? You said we I have about we 10 recipes. For the week. Out of this. They are set for the week with just this right here. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, now this is ready for the oven right now, okay. and it's only going to take about 30, 35 minutes. Top of the rack, middle of the I'll oven? I'd always go to middle of the oven, because remember, you're cooking that stuff in a little bit longer and slower, right? Okay. You want to see what it looks like when it's done? Of course. Uh, look at here. It's calling for the crowd. Look at um, that. But what I love about it is to know that it came right out of our Gulf waters here, which now is so safe. We had a lot of tragedies here recently, but no better seafood than right here in the Gulf of Mexico. Really wonderful. The resilience right here in this state oh. is like none other. There's a special people living here. That's right. All right, we've got more recipes. We're coming right back.